Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. A telephone call was held today between His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. His Majesty the King and the custodian of the two holy mosques reviewed the distinguished long standing relations between the two brotherly countries and the advanced level reached through bilateral cooperation across various fields. His Majesty confirmed the solid deep-rooted ties between the two kingdoms and their peoples, expressing congratulations to the Saudi monarch on the reopening of the King Fahad Causeway for passengers. His Majesty stressed that the causeway is a remarkable developmental monument that embodies the solid bridges of fraternity between the two brotherly peoples. The custodian of the two holy mosques expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his efforts to further strengthen the deep-rooted relations, cooperation and coordination between the two brotherly countries wishing the people of Bahrain everlasting progress and prosperity under His Majesty the King's leadership. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, issued Edict 4 of 2021, appointing Aisha Riyad Al Ziani as Director of Digital Transformation and Information Technology. The decision comes in line with the directors of Her Royal Highness for the swift response to the exceptional circumstances the Kingdom is experiencing and in keeping pace with the events in response to COVID-19 pandemic, especially with regard to taking precautionary measures at the institutional level of the Council through flexibility in planning, implementation and managing risk and challenges in reliance on innovative mechanisms related to digital transformation and management of knowledge and technology as the organisational structure of the Council reviewed and developed, which resulted in the creation of a specialised department for digital transformation and information technology, facilitating the entire process of transition to a system of remote work as the epidemic turned into a global pandemic. The arrangements for remote work in the Council included the activation of a number of electronic and digital systems by taking advantage of the advanced infrastructure for the information and communication network in Bahrain. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs and Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, the SCYS, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Edict 2 of 2021 on ending the work of the SCYS Coordination, Execution and Follow-up Committee, Estijaba. Per the edict, all the committee sport programmes should be referred to the General Sport Authority, the GSA, and implemented by its Board of Directors under the supervision of its Chairman. Edict 1 of 2018 on the Formation and Coordination Execution and Follow-up Committee and Edict 1 of 2020 of the Committee's Restructuring shall be repealed. The Attorney General, Dr Ali bin Fadl al Ain, said the following intensive investigations conducted by the Public Prosecution in relation to money laundering, allegations against officials of Future Bank in Bahrain and associated Iranian banks abroad, during 2008 to 2012, and other unlawful banking practices have been uncovered. The Central Bank of Iran issued instructions to Future Bank on the use of an unimproved alternative transfer system to complete banking operations with the aim of concealing the source and movement of funds, benefiting Iranian banks and circumventing international sanctions and restrictions on transactions imposed against Iranian entities. Future bank officials, in conjunction with other Iranian bank officials and the Central Bank of Iran, carried out sending and transferring operations. They received more than $1.3 billion via an alternative system. Funds were transferred and received, kept as a discount, added to the account of Iranian banks, settled in bank accounts and had the source concealed to enable those banks to complete unlawful transfers of funds as part of the huge money laundering scheme. Based on the weight of physical evidence, the public prosecutions referred a number of accused for prosecution, including Future Bank, Bank of Mali, Iran, Bank Sederat of Iran and other Iranian banks, in addition to the Central Bank of Iran. The investigations continue into other similar violations carried out through Future Bank and Iranian banks. The Attorney General noted that the investigations into the violations of Future Bank established in Bahrain were carried pursuant to reports of the Central Bank of Bahrain in cooperation with the Financial Investigation Directorate and the Ministry of Interior, the Central Bank of Bahrain and the independent international experts which confirmed that Future Bank and its controlling shareholders were involved in systematic and widespread violations of Bahrain's banking law. 
Their aim was laundering money through a bank controlled by the National Bank of Iran, Meli, and the Bank Sadrat Iran, empowering Iranian entities, including those involved in financing terrorism, as subject to international sanctions designed to prevent them from carrying out international banking transactions. The Edel Futter Mall of Demunia opened for the first time their entertainment space Funscape Adventure and reopened Funscape Sports as well as ice. Stirring the Eid spirit during the holiday, it will encourage quality time with friends and family. Funscape World is considered as a one-of-its-kind entertainment hub in the Kingdom of Bahrain due to its wide range of activities that are catered for all ages. The Chief Executive Officer of Mall of Dilmunia, Sheikh Mohammed bin Duaj Al Khalifa, said the new zone aims to set a new standard for indoor entertainment offerings within the Kingdom of Bahrain, adding that Funscape World is the perfect family oriented destination which caters for all age groups, and we do hope that our customers will enjoy them and responsibly and safely. Uh, we're very glad with the new directive uh, the COVID-19 committee in Bahrain took to reopen the entertainment, which en enabled us to open uh, Funscape World or uh, three uh, sections of Funscape World, uh, Funscape Adventure, Funscape Ice and Funscape Sports. Uh, we are very happy with uh, seeing the, the joy and happiness on, on families during this vacation. Oh, uh, it's uh, very special to us to also have the Bahrain Classic Car uh, taking uh, gathering together here with us uh, this afternoon to showcase uh, their classic cars and uh, exhibit some of their older cars in, inside the mall. The Ministry of Health announced the administrative closure of two entertainment stores for a week and the follow-up of 39 entertainment shops and three cinemas to amend the conditions in coordination with the Ministry of the Interior and the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism after detecting violations of precautionary and preventative measures to limit the spread of the coronavirus. This came during the inspection visits made by the Environmental Health Inspectors and the Ministry's Public Health Directorate in cooperation with the Ministry of Interior and the Ministry of Industry, which included 58 visits to entertainment stores and cinemas in various governorates during the first, second, third and fourth days of Edel Fitter. Inspection visits continued during the fourth day of Edel Fitter, which included 173 visits to restaurants and cafes. The Ministry of Health also announced the administrative closure of four restaurants for a week coordination with the Ministry of Interior and Ministry of Industry to take the necessary measures to refer these restaurants to legal authorities. It affirmed the constitution of field visits with the relative authorities to intensify the monitoring during the coming period to ensure the reopening of facilities in accordance with the required procedures for the safety of all. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents the Ministry of Health announced that 847,764 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 642,187 had taken the second. The Ministry reviewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 16,177 with 1,760 recoveries, 1,579 registered new cases and 8 deaths. 559 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 1,011 are contacts of active cases and 8 are travel related. The Ministry expresses its heartfelt condolences to the families of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.